Okay, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Because I was you're expecting sure? worse. Mascara it should not be more than six months, otherwise you're gonna get eye infection. And if you haven't got any eye infection till now, you're very lucky. Okay, we just wanna also cover a little bit of the little, uh, the open pore that you have around this area. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you use this prep and prime, it's really, really nice. Okay. Then we're gonna use another primer as well to get um, to smoothen the pores. Yeah. Okay. Huh? If you don't see it, it's the perfect color for you. But the minute oh, you see it, it's the wrong color. The wrong color. So neutral, I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, I'm wearing that's, something. That's how it has to be the foundation. But that's very interesting because normally I don't feel comfortable wearing it wearing because it. it really feels like I am wearing yeah, something okay, that is not my it. skin. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. It makes me look very artificial, like yeah. that's not my skin, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. So now, yeah. with this brush, which mm -hmm. is like the most amazing brush on the planet Earth, <laughs> I'm just gonna go. And then I'm not gonna do anything under the eyes because I'm gonna go and do the concealer. So I don't okay. want under the eyes to become heavy already. Okay. Yeah, because you know the problem. And then you apply with a little bit on your neck as well, because mm -hmm. in the picture, if you only yeah. apply on the on the face and don't apply it on the neck, on the picture you're really gonna bad. have a different yeah. reflection. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. dab it on your skin. Okay, perfect. That's it. You will see the cracking when you apply a heavy layer. Mm. That's the time you start okay. seeing the cracking because the more with the makeup, the mm -hmm. more you apply, the yeah. worst you can get. So the oh. minimal you apply, the best, the band, the best result you get. Okay. So I'm using the concealer only with my finger, mm -hmm. and then I'm just gonna do like a triangle mm -hmm. because I just don't, don't want to do this because that's gonna create the panda effect. So I just want to make it as a <laughs> triangle mm -hmm. to open up okay. and lighten your under eye. Okay. So that I was doing it right, I can do it with my finger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. To me, the most amazing way of doing the concealer is the finger because the oh. finger is going to be warm as well. Okay. And it will warm up. I'm okay. gonna go on the areas that mm -hmm. is a little bit darker, but just on mm -hmm. the area that is a little bit darker. So I'm not gonna okay. just target the whole eye. Okay. So, we are done with the concealer now, okay. so as you can see, it did, the darkness got better. Yes. We're just gonna work on your contouring and then okay. if we see that we need more highlighting under the eyes, mm -hmm. we get back to it and then we do the highlighting because okay. now we created a canvas. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just gonna do the contouring and I'm gonna mm -hmm. use this color. So with the same brush that you remember we used the primer. Yeah. No. Okay, so I actually see you're, you're using, like you can use the same brush for yeah. many different things. Yes, okay. See, so I'm, I'm like just going to do one line here to sharpen okay. your jawline as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have this here mm -hmm. to chisel your cheekbone and then okay. I have this. Okay. And then so, with the same okay. brush, I'm okay. just going to on it and dab it in. So this brush already has a little bit of foundation from previous from application, before, yeah. right? So I don't apply anything on it, but what I do, I just go on it mm -hmm. and then dab it in. So this when I blend, I go down. So I bring mm -hmm. it down. Okay. When so I blend this, I just go on top of it because I don't okay. want to bring this down. down. Because if I bring it down, it's going to make your face saggy. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so this goes here and then this goes to your hair roots because okay. I want your scalp to get a little bit of more colors as well. Uh, okay. I don't want your scalp to be, be you know, like white. blend this contour mm -hmm. so the line that I created on the nose you will see like you'll see there is like a shadow here mm -hmm. and there's a shadow here so that's why it makes okay. this part like much more narrow I'm gonna use your blush yeah. because it's a beautiful color nice and pinkish but I'm not gonna go all the way Ah, okay, so you're just so, doing, okay. Just the just apple of the, the cheek. Yeah. Okay. Only the apple of the cheek. Okay. That's it. So you don't want to go older because you already done the contouring. So the purpose oh. of the blush now is just to give you color, color. on your face. Okay, but not the and that's or anything. Yeah, that's it. So you don't need that, you know, because you already, we created it with the contour. Now oh. you can see it in the mirror. Yes. You see that, yes. you know. Yes. Okay. 
previously people were using the blush to contour okay. but that was the wrong things to do uh, so okay. people were using it because they wanted to give some shape mm -hmm. to the face but then imagine okay. like if you have pink on your forehead yeah it doesn't make sense I mean, how so, yeah. would that be right <laughs> this looks wrong yeah so i'm powdering with a powder contour okay Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is the powder contour and I'm okay. using the darker shades. The change will show so much when you're taking a picture. Really? In the picture it shows oh. so much because the contouring is yeah. very camera friendly. Ah, so, in the so camera, it doesn't, you don't see yeah. different shades in no, the camera. No, no. In, the oh, camera, yeah. okay. in the camera you will see yeah. a huge change of your makeup routine when you do the contour. Powder always comes at the end. Yes. Okay. Because the minute you put the powder, it's like you're fixing you're everything. Okay. And then you cannot do anything cream on top on of it, top. otherwise you're gonna create a mud. So first thing first, I'm gonna so we put the concealer on your eyelid, right? Mm -hmm. So first I'm gonna use this color to set the concealer on your eyelid so it okay. doesn't move around. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna use this all over your eye. So we're going to do eye contouring. The base is always needed. Always light. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And always light. Light, yeah. But not, so. but not like, uh, not, not white. white. No, okay. no. It has to be a skin color. A mostly. skin color. Yeah. Okay. So, and the movement is like a fan movement. So we go back and forth, back and forth, back mm. and forth. And then we do like a V ending as well. So we bring it out and we go in. It's like a V outer corner. Oh. The same color that we use on the base. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put it here. Don't ever apply anything shimmery on your brow bone. Oh. Because you have the prominent brow bone. If you use oh. a shimmer here, is gonna bring this out and push your eyes back in. You will see this is like nice and even and this, can you see? Yes, true. Can you see that the this is out and yes. your eyes is in, in, but now this eyes is out. You're right. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lighten your eyelid mm -hmm. to just make your eye look more ravishing. So mm -hmm. now I'm gonna use a lighter shade only on the part that you usually use a dark shade. But I'm not gonna do like a harsh line. No, okay. So yeah, just yeah. a little bit of this. Because you're making the frame of your eye bigger. Yeah. Because you're bringing it down. If you do it inside, yeah. it's gonna make it smaller. Oh. But if you bring it here, it's gonna make it bigger. Oh. Color, to me, it needs to be a little bit less. And now we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna add up the colors. So it's more of a, it's like a darker brown, but it's not very dark. Okay. So you will see the color. So now you can just turn the other side. Ooh, like a, really nice like a little shimmer. shimmer. Yeah. yeah, so cute. Lashes from the middle. Okay. And then you keep your eyes open, and it's like you're putting a crown on your eyelid. Okay. And your lash line. Okay. And then that's it. But you have to put the glue, and then when you put the glue, so look straight. The glue is the tricky, yeah. tricky part. Look straight. Mm -hmm. So okay. You can just look straight, and then think of like you're putting a crown, and then you just do this, and then when it's a glue, it will stick immediately. Okay, so I wait for like 10-15 seconds to get it dry and then I just put it there and then so now it's just in the middle. Okay. okay. So now with the tweezers I'm just going to bring this closer, stick it to your lash line and then here bring it and then stick it to your lash line. And let it go. Perfect. So if that has a glue, if that has a glue, you're done. 
top and then just let's bring the pie as well here. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to add a little bit of more oh, drama, perfect. it's like it's very dull. No, I don't. I don't. I love it. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. I really do. Like